Smile FM urged its listeners to donate as little as 12 rand to the Haven Night Shelter in Cape Town. This week-long campaign to help the homeless through the cold winter had an overwhelming response. Listeners raised up to a quarter of a million rand, which translates to over 50,000 beds for those in distress. You know, winter is on the way and we are, you know, Bobby and I spend our mornings in a very warm, cosy studio, but... The problem is is that a lot of people in Cape Town don't have those luxuries and aren't as fortunate as we are. So we wanted to do something to make winter a little bit, a little bit less cold um, for as many people as we can on the streets of Cape Town. The Haven tries to help adult homeless people to get back to a home, family and community. So the important thing is what we don't do is we don't help people to stay on the street. What we do is to encourage people to come off the street. What the Smile FM program is done. It two or the three great things. The most important thing is more people know what we do. And we're not just a hostel, cheap accommodation that what we value most about our service is that we help people to get back home. So that's a very important thing. The other is to raise money for that. It says to homeless people and to the community that homeless people don't need money to come into the Haven Night Shelters. Right? It's already been paid for by the community. It's an incredible situation. I've always known that Cape Town is the best city in the world. But the people who live here have the biggest hearts, but this has exceeded every single expectation that I had. Every target we set, it was just blown right out of the park. And it just really hits home that Cape Townians, they have got big open hearts. They want to help other people. And sometimes they just didn't know how to do it. And this is a wonderful way where it's easy for you to donate and you know exactly where your money is going to. So I'm absolutely blown away. I couldn't be happier. There's enough money left over now to not only ensure the, that the person comes in without having to pay for the first five nights, we might extend it to the first ten nights. We'll have money now for um, other necessities that we have to buy, like toiletries, maybe guest towels, ID documents, transportation costs for homeless people looking for jobs. It makes it easier for our, for our system of reintegration um, and social work services to operate well. We started on Monday this week and people were able to donate the whole week and we are going to extend this until next week Friday as well. So even though um, we've handed over the check that doesn't mean that you can't donate, we'll keep it running for another week and you can always, any time of the year, you can donate uh, to the Haven directly by buying those booklets and making sure that somebody doesn't have to spend the night on the street. People traditionally from the, from the Cape Town area they are lost in the queue when it comes to coming to shelters in winter. They've survived maybe one or two winters on the street. And one of the ways that they survive winters on the street is that Cape Town gets in blankets and, you know, Cape Town gets lots of generous people. Right? But in, then he slips into a greater degree of alienation. It deepens his homelessness. Right? Whereas others newly arrived to Cape Town, no other places in the country like Valcom in the Free State, Springbok and so forth, they come here, they scared of the city streets, they're more likely to come and look for assistance.